alternate exterior angles are sort of the natural companion to alternate interior angles, obviously the only difference being the fact that they are on the exterior, which means that they're on the outside of the little shape formed by our two parallel lines. So again, if we think of those two parallel lines as sort of bounding on a rectangle there, then the four angles here, 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 and here that are on the outside of the shape are all exterior angles. And any pairs of angles that are on alternate sides of the transversal are alternate exterior angles and they're equal. So angles one and two are equal and the unmarked angles that are the companions to them are also equal. And it sort of makes logical sense too if you think about it. Um, if we know, for instance, that one and two are equal, obviously we're going to know that the other two are because these are linear pairs and these are the opposite of those linear pairs. So it kind of, kind of makes sense that if, if these two are, the other two are also going to be. Now, um, similar to the alternate interior angles, you can also use the postulate backwards. The converse of the postulate says that if we don't know for certain that two lines such as L and M are parallel, if we can show that the alternate exterior angles are equal, then we know that the lines are parallel because of that same theorem. So just as, as before, the theorem works in reverse, and sometimes we use it that way. And that's really it. So let's take a look at the examples.